This is apparently a newly designed intersection in Barcelona. Um, I just got here. I haven't seen it before. Uh, it's confusing. But first, let's talk about the good things. You have a, well, a bi-directional on the street is not a good thing. But you can see that if you're coming down here and you have to turn right, you don't have to stop for cars. You're protected from the cars. This is something we see in, in many uh, cities, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Berlin. That's great. Um, a lot of space here on this corner. The bicycle corner has been uh, given over to bicycles. So that's another positive thing. But then you look, <laughs> you look at the infrastructure and if you're coming down here, you can turn right here. I'm trying to figure it out as I'm speaking to you, but you have... Again, <laughs> This is like an acid trip, okay, of bicycle infrastructure. This is something that I can't even figure out. I have to really study it. So if I'm going to come from this street down here and I want to turn left, I go to the right of the bi-directional. I don't go to the... <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. It is somebody who just was on a wild acid trip and just sort of drew some stuff on, 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 uh, on some paper and then somebody gave them permission to put it on the asphalt. I mean, Barcelona has so much potential. There, are, you know, cycling has been growing for many years. It's kind of plateauing at the moment, but stuff like this, it makes me just want to bring people from around the world to study how not to do bicycle infrastructure. This is one corner. There's a different design up there. There's a freestyle design over there. It's just this museum of failed infrastructure designs. And after 100 years of best practice, it's so depressing to see people just winging it and just thinking that it's going to work. Looks good on paper, it must look good on asphalt. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm three blocks from another bizarre intersection and, you know, there are four types of bicycle infrastructure in Danish best practice. Similar in Dutch as well. Um, here in Barcelona, there's four types of infrastructure on every intersection. I should be able to look at this and just understand it intuitively, not just as a bicycle urbanist, but also just as a bicycle user right? cycling around Barcelona. But I, I could stand here for days trying to figure out the bizarre inner workings of the people who freestyled this design and who are freestyling bicycle infrastructure in Barcelona. It's like, it's like a turn arrow in the middle of the intersection. There's this weird, loopy thing here. There's a big bollards everywhere. Who puts bollards on bicycle infrastructure? Um, again, space has been taken away for bicycles. That's, uh, again, the good thing, but why they did this, we may never know. So on our interesting tour of new bicycle infrastructure in Barcelona, Oh my God, so they're putting a bi-directional here. You can see there's a car lane. So you're gonna be riding your bike in between moving traffic and a tramway, not along the curb where you're supposed to put it. And then they're trying to freestyle a bicycle roundabout. So this is a big roundabout and there's gonna be bicycle infrastructure here. An opening here for access. We can't figure out where the access should be to or from, like who would be coming across six lanes of traffic to get to this bicycle uh, roundabout thing. And then, okay, then over here, there's like a nice promenade that leads down to the beach. And they have benches there blocking pedestrians. Um, and now they're gonna remove the benches and make a nice pedestrian crossing here to the middle for access to the museum and the beach. But then on this side, come here, Jordan. And on this side, there's no pedestrian access. They built the pedestrian ramp over there but then there's now a bicycle roundabout in the way, so like, it's just like people who don't communicate when they're designing stuff. Oh, and then the roundabout ends here, right? And uh, it continues down there, but how do I get up there? Like, it's just, it's just freestyle. And freestyle doesn't make any sense when you're designing any part of transport in a city. Oh. It gets funnier and funnier, but then also more depressing, so, yeah. <laughs>